Hi, I'm Peter Hannigan. I'm here with Nikolai, the expert from Farasin International. He's flown in from Italy today to be with me to talk through their electric telehandler that's actually been in the market, thanks to GGR Group, for a couple of years now. And this particular unit was purchased by Flannery Plant Hire for Morgan Sindel on a big infrastructure project in Birmingham. Nikolai, we're starting here at the business end of the machine. Tell me a little bit about the features here at the end that matters. So we have in front of us the 636 full electric from Firezin. It comes with a FH, with the Firezin coupling. It has, it's a machine, a full electric machine, a 2.6 ton lifting capacity machine with a maximum height of six meter. Fundamentally, guys, what this is being used to do is move around a lot of stuff and load a lot of stuff here at this particular depot we're in at the moment. It's also being used indoors. And um, one of the things and the features, if you join me around here, I'll let you inside the cab, Thank folks. You, Thank you. Please take a seat inside the cab. I've been talking to the operator here Happy, um, who has basically been using the equ equipment for 12 months here on site. Now, he has set it all up for, for himself, but Nikolai, inside here, we see all the controls. So come a bit closer, folks, so we can get a little bit closer with the machine. Inside, let's start from the inside, right around. Inside the, the cab, you can see on the right side, we have the dashboard to control the main functional function of the machine. We have the parking brake, the engage mode, or the operating mode of the machine. We have the constant flow, boom suspension, um, floating boom, or the LED lights, which you can just activate from, uh, from this button over here. Moving uh, just a little bit uh, lower, we have the joystick with, with a fully integrated F and R mode, which is basically selecting the gears. Either the operator can choose from the joystick by pressing a button or from the lever on the left side of the steering uh, wheel. In front of us we have also a display, a 7 inch LCD display which gives out all the, the information about the machine, the status, uh, the, uh, the working hours, the battery um, capacity and also the, gives us the general information about the status of the machine, if there are any error codes, problems or what is the general situation of the machine itself. And also here we've got a couple of other features here. One is to, to support better lifting operation, isn't it, and safer lifting. Exactly. We, we've got in front of us this, uh, what are concerned safety features of the machine. We've got the, the LCD display which is connected to the camera which we were going to see shortly in the rear of the machine. And plus that we have what we call the anti-tipping system of the machine which gives you basically the information on what is the load the machine it's, uh, it's carrying uh, or it's lifting uh, at the moment. And with this cab here, folks, you, you see at the top here, we've got extra protection for the operator. Great visibility here with lots of mirrors and light. We say we're going to see the camera in a minute. And obviously the opening door here, <laughs> section of the door here. But now we're going to go round to the back end of the machine. Instead of an engine, folks, obviously we've got electric motors and Unbelievably, there's something behind here, yes. isn't there, Nikolai? Yes. Tell me about this it. This is where we have something that you don't see as you usually. This is where we have the second electric motor of the machine because one, you have it in front of the machine, you have the electric traction motor or the transmission motor. And on the back of this, we have the second electric motor that gives the power to the hydraulic system. So that's really interesting, folks. That allows us to separate those two elements there so that you can get as much power into the hydraulics as and when you need it. And that's exactly. a really great function. And exactly. also, you know, like anything, you've got a, a little special device here, which is called a tow bar, folks, which is very useful when you're on sites here, towing around lots of little trailers and things that people uh, are going to be picking up because this is a very, very busy depot we're in. Let's go around to the other side. We've talked about engines that don't exist in this machine because we're talking about two electric motors. And of course, Nikolai, the one thing that's really important is how do I get the fuel in? But first, let's look at the fuel tank in here. <laughs> it's not a tank at all, folks. It's a battery, but, um, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a lithium power battery, a lithium battery over here. You can basically have three different batteries right now on the machine, which you can choose 330, 400, 440 or 560 ampere per hour, which is just the latest battery we have released or developed uh, for, this, uh, for this beauty. 
So fundamentally, that allows you to have different battery opens for different applications. Exactly. So fundamentally, that allows you to go, right, we want to spec the machine for this particular work site, for this particular job, we need one like this. Flannery's obviously purchased this particular machine and it's been in operation for some time now. And of course, folks, you then need to have the little fueling, <laughs> refueling, electric power. This is all electric. That comes through here. So what have we got here? There's two you points two here that we've got there. plug in the machine. You've got the normal one, which is the 220 uh, single uh, phase that you can charge the machine, which is the normal charging um, system of the machine. Or if you want to charge the machine through a fast charger, which is available on our, on our machine, you can really charge it in a fast in a fast uh, way, in one hour or an hour and a half, wow. because so, of the battery you have. Yeah, so an hour and an hour and a half, folks, that's really important because you can do that in a lunch break. You know, exactly. and you can do that when people aren't working. Exactly. Or, and what they're doing here anyway is topping up, folks. And this is the whole point. People talk to me a lot about electric. So people say, well, Peter, you know, you can't get the full shift or this, that, and you can't work it 24 hours a day. Well, nobody's working 24 hours a day. And when you're parked up and when you're not doing stuff, when you're loading and unloading here, there's, there's downtime all the time. You literally just plug it in. And so that's really great. And of course, we've got here the fans and, uh, and, and everything else in this section, haven't we? Yes, we've got over here in front of us, we've got the cooling for the, from the front uh, motor for the transmission motor, which we have in front of us. Over there we have the inverter, and that's it. It's a basically quite simple machine. Simple, nice, compact uh, solution there. So what we're really saying here, folks, is that 625 uh, is the electric telehandler from the Farrison Group. Options for the batteries. You've got all of the options uh, in there for the operator to, to pick how they want to operate. You've got the safety systems involved as well. And also what's interesting about this particular machine is this is a connected asset. So this connects through with telemetry systems, not just through the Farrison system. Faramatics, yeah. Faramatic system, but also you and the team have been working exactly. very hard to link that in with other provider systems. And in this case, Flannery Plant Hire uses Machine Max for all its fleet telemetry. So all of that data from the intelligence of the machine exactly. goes into Machine Max for them. Exactly, it? we teamed up with the, with the guys from Machine Max in order to share the information from, from our machine or from our telemetric system for the pharmatics uh, for uh, big or for customer like Flannery who are using a different telematic system so to integrate their solution with ours in order to provide the data which is which are which is the crucial at the moment for for everybody do, running a business yes yeah, so, and it's it's particularly crucial for large players like morgan sindel infrastructure who are using this unit and have used a lot from flannery as well on this particular project because they want to see all of their data all of their carbon emissions it is a a, a central birmingham project where the west midlands combined authority wants to actually see that data to see that we're being greener they've also got electric vehicles so they're all charging all the infrastructures here and it's all electric so great to be able to walk around and learn a little bit more about the 626 from Farrison. Thanks very much for flying over Thank from you. Italy <laughs> to come and see me today. <laughs> cheers. Thank you. Cheers.